Uh, it's that derivation of the Mount Rose snow sampler, now known as the Federal Sampler, first developed just over the ridge at Mount Rose in Nevada. When you get this apparatus assembled, you go all the way through the snowpack to the ground, pull it out, weigh it, dump the core out, weigh it again, and the difference is the weight of the snow, which is the water content of the snowpack. It's not just as simple as how much snow is on the ground, it's how much water is in the snow. If you, let's say, carve out any random, I don't know, square foot of snow, that might be about right. Now, this could contain anywhere from 50% water all the way down to 1%. The whole idea behind snow courses is that you go to the same location and measure it as, as close as practical the same points each and every time. Consistency. Consistency is the key. Yeah, okay, I get up there and generally step, not there, not there. <laughs> Didn't get you in time. <laughs> okay. So this, we've arrived at the course. That's this right. The course, the snow course. This is called Tamarack Flat. We are in the South Fork of the American River drainage, mm -hmm. ultimately ends up in Folsom Reservoir there above Sacramento. So if Cody wanted to set up, what I'm gonna do is take a sample here, try to get all the way to the bottom. Well, our preliminary depth is 90. I'm gonna keep on going. Corn length, 75. Right, and then if you'll, what's at the dirt? And you'll notice that I'm catching the dirt. Yeah. It's important that we not leave the dirt on the snow course, mm -hmm. especially on a March 1 survey, because the sun's gonna be getting high enough up in the sky that if we don't have any storm activity and this dirt here, we'd have a, come March 1, we'd basically have a crater about 10 foot diameter melted out here. The density is the, the water content divided by the depth. Okay. In this case, it's about 33%. There, Go ahead yep. and write it. Yeah, 77. The core length is 73. 